hi if you've been around my channel i do this thing every like once in a blue moon where i draw myself using other youtubers art styles but before i start uh getting in my kelsey animated mug you could get at crowdmade.com forward slash kelsey animated and drawing names today's sponsor of today's video is squarespace squarespace is a website where you can create your own website Squarespace has a ton of online templates for specific categories you're looking for and makes creating a website that much simpler. You can create your own online store, portfolio, blog, anywhere from photography, fashion, local business, food, travel, Squarespace has the website for you. Connect with your audience and even generate revenue on one easy to use platform. You can display posts from your social media profiles on your website and automatically post website content to those social media channels. Squarespace makes setting up things very simple. So even if you just want a website for a portfolio, it makes it so simple. So if you want to dabble with Squarespace, there's a 14 day free trial. And if you're happy with what you made, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kelsey animated to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Hi, okay, so let's start drawing names and then I can rant about how much I love these YouTubers and all that good stuff. First one is The Odd Ones Out, classic. The Odd Ones Out, James himself. Of course he's gonna be on here. Of course I have to draw him, right? <laughs> he's the trendsetter. He's one of the first story time creators on YouTube. He walked so we could all run. <laughs> Obviously, if you don't know James, have you been living under a rock? If you want to check out any of the creators that I'm drawing in here, uh, their YouTube channels will be linked in my description if you're curious, but you should already know all of these people anyway. So the reason James' style, like his art style is so simple is simply because it makes it a lot easier to create his animations and stuff. And he does a really good job. He has an amazing team to help him make his videos and I respect him very highly. But I was kind of debating, throughout this whole entire video, I debate on whether or not to make it, make the color scheme match my aesthetic, or like my art style. Um, but I feel like classic James art style, I gotta go with the marshmallow skin. And I kind of do that with the rest of these, but this is myself in the Odd Ones Out art style. Next we have Emerichu. Emerichu? Em Emmy? Emery Emmy. <laughs> Obviously she is so popular for a reason. I love her videos. I adore her art style. So her art style is very anime inspired and I am uh not very uh what do you say? experienced with anime style art uh so i hope i did this justice emmy if you're watching this i love you and i love your videos and um you added me on the nintendo switch to play animal crossing and then we never got to i'm not upset about it because i don't really play animal crossing anymore but i appreciate it and i love you i kind of struggled with this a lot <laughs> because i was i guess i was trying to I don't know what I was trying to do with this, but I did struggle a lot. But um, besides being anime inspired, one of the common things she does in all of her art is her line art is like this sketchy pencil type thing. And I think it's really cool. It gives a lot of texture. Um, one of the most important things to note about trying to recreate other people's art styles is uh, their line art. So if it's like thick or thin, what kind of brush is it? Is it like smooth? Things like that can totally change what your art style is. And I just really like uh, her sketchy kind of look, but it's really clean. Um, nearing the end of this, when I started coloring, um, I tried to make it like my color scheme, but it didn't work right. So <laughs> I made two versions because in her videos, sometimes her characters only have colored hair or sometimes they're in grayscale. So I did both just so they would match. And I think I did a pretty good job. Hopefully I didn't butcher it uh, a lot. <laughs> Next we have Pantsless Pajamas. 
Up next, we have PJ. And I feel like PJ has one of those art styles where as soon as you see it, you know it's theirs. Their style is like mostly blue and everything. And the thing that jumps out at me the most is, um, I, I don't know what you would call it, the rim light? I don't know, the, the light cyan color on the edge of like highlights and things like that. As soon as I see that in an art style, I immediately recognize like, oh, that's PJ's art. So I made sure to uh, put that in my drawing as well. Um, <laughs> one of the hardest things that I tried to do with this art style is that my color scheme and PJ's color scheme is like complete opposites because <laughs> uh, my color scheme is very warm toned. Like the first color I think of is orange. It might be different for you, but that's what I think my art style is. Um, and PJ's is obviously blue, like very much blue. <laughs> so I tried to do an overlay uh, to make it a little more cool toned and not so bright and orange and like Simpsons yellow skin. <laughs> um, but I think it turned out pretty okay. I feel like I did a pretty good job. <laughs> a lot of PJ's art that's like not YouTube related is on their Twitter. That's mostly where I got the references from and what I like referred myself back to. I just really enjoy their art style. PJ is very talented. I like to look at them for inspiration sometimes. One thing in particular was uh, <laughs> they had drawn themselves wearing like the cow costume when that was a big old thing on Twitter because it was like year of the cow or something. So everyone was drawing their personas like in cow outfits and I saw that from them and I recreated it myself. So that that's like just one example. <laughs> also with the pose for this, kind of suggestive, but I feel like it fits PJ's art style. That's kind of uh, a little bit of a thing. It may just be because the eyes that I did are like um, halfway open, but either way, I think it turned out great. Let me know if it's like completely terrible. I won't be upset. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, this is me attempting to recreate myself in PJ's art style. So PJ, if you're watching, I am so sorry for <laughs> what you had to witness. Up next, we have... Lady Beamer. So this one is a bit different than everyone else's because Lady Beamer, at the time that I wrote their name down, um, they were a YouTuber, but now they are a VTuber and their persona is B-Chan and it's really cute and <laughs> they do still do YouTube, but they're mostly, I think mostly a Twitch streamer now, but I just think she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Her art style is literally so good. It's like very sharp, but all the colors are very nice. It's it's just, I, it's gorgeous. You may remember her from when she did storytime videos, but I still think that her content is amazing and all of her art is on Twitter. So if you would like, please go check it out. They're a huge inspiration to me. Uh, <laughs> enough fangirling, knock it off. Um, one more thing, they I'm pretty sure they have their commissions open, so. Anyway, I think this one was the, like, funnest drawing that I had because, um, I got to do, I didn't have to do, like, a cool pose, but I did it anyway. <laughs> but I, I love the shapes, I love the colors, I love everything about it. Oh my god, stop fangirling. But I think it was really fun. Um, the outfit I got to pick was mostly based on this one drawing that I did. It was just like a self-portrait. I don't really do self-portraits anymore because, I mean, every YouTube video I have to draw myself over and over again, so it, I don't really like to do it on my free time. But I have these like flared pants but I didn't do a full body so you can't really see it. But anyway, that's what the outfit is inspired by. <laughs> Um, but Lady Beamer, she's so nice, she's so creative, and I love all of her stuff. So please, if you haven't heard of her, please go check her out. They're all in my description, as I said earlier, but yeah, I just love everything that they do. But they're very talented, and I look up to them, and hopefully 
if she's watching this, she's proud of me. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Busy Pop. Oh, that's gonna be fun. So I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce their name, but I'm just gonna call them Viv for the sake of this video, so. This is Viv's art style. They're the creator of Has Been Hotel and the creator of Hell of a Boss. And, uh, geez, I have been following them on YouTube before any of that. It's been a long time. Back when they were doing um, their short films. And it's been a wild ride. So their art style has a lot of movement to it, if that makes any sense. Like all the characters, they have all these fun shapes. And then a common theme is that like neon pink, uh, which I tried to include in the colors, but um, I also wanted to keep it a little more like a warm pink and like reds rather than like magentas just to like play true to my art style. And I had a little bit of a dilemma. So originally I was going to just draw myself as a human because I am a human, but most of their art isn't humans. The only recent drawing of humans is either like self portraits of Viv or that one episode of Hell of a Boss where they had like human disguises. And that's what I was originally going to do, but I changed my mind because demons are cooler and they're a lot more fun to design. And in this design, I finally got to add my flared pants. A common thing with uh, their characters and stuff is obviously the pink tones, but also very skinny and very round. So I tried to incorporate those shapes into my figure. This drawing was one of the funnest ones. Uh, very much not like the rest because obviously it's a demon, but it was really fun to do. And I know a lot of people have like, they create their own OCs in that universe and that's really cool, but uh, I never got to because I wasn't that very much into it, but this was very fun. I love all the character designs, most of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love all the characters in Hell of a Boss and and I really like watching the show. I think it's very funny. All the voice actors are incredible and everyone who works on the show is incredible. But yeah, I really liked making this one. This one was fun. Uh, it's the only full body one that I did uh, and it probably took the longest out of all of them, but I think it was worth it. Uh, is there anything really much else to say? I think it looks cool. So that is all of the art styles that I drew today. And uh, let me know which one you think I did the best or which one you like the most out of all of them. Uh, make sure to go check out all of the creators if you haven't already. Check out today's sponsor of today's video, Squarespace, also linked in the description. Also in recent news, I had just launched a Patreon where you can get all sorts of cool perks and content from me. Uh, you can check that out if you want to. Um, and I want to take some of this time to thank some of my patrons. Thank you, Eric Carlos, Official Cute, and Artist 580. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Adios.